So in my own twisted mind, I'm basically vegan. I'm a good 93% of my way there. It's a journey and I'm, I'm on a ladder, I'm hanging out here. I'm on my way there, I wanna do it. I just have a tiny little bit of fish bodies in my life, I'm trying to get rid of them. I'm trying to replace them with nuts. Can I feel as good on chia seeds? If I can, I will. Vegans will always have a special place. Bad Sadie. Bad Sadie. <laughs> I had a dream last night. We'll get to the video. That I was petting a cougar. Somebody had a pet cougar. And I was like, can... And I'm trying to get it on film. And it's like not working. And then finally I pet him. And he's loving it. And I'm like, oh, are you getting... Oh, my camera's not working. No. No. Anyways. There's a couple of vegans that impress me. Not just the way they look. Just the way they live. Sadie. I was supposed to make this video when I was carnivore. And I was gonna, oh, these vegans still impress me. But now that I'm mostly vegan, it doesn't hold the same weight. But I'm still making the video. I am a vegan. You are a loser. Maybe the dog park wasn't the best place to make the video. He's so vegan right now. I'm composting. It's a garbage, but they'll know what to do with it. They'll put it in the compost when they get it. They... So first on my list of vegans who impress me, Marcus Rothkranz. I've been watching that guy since the beginning of my inception into veganism. It was raw vegan. There was some documentary and I saw him and he was like the motivational one. It's like, you can do it. Whatever you believe, you can live it. <laughs> He's like all into the law of attraction and just, he looked younger. I was like, that guy's healthy. Wow, and successful. Amazing. Those dogs. <laughs> that dog was like <laughs> Nobody knows this, but Marcus actually played a key integral role in me becoming vegan again. Subconsciously sidestepped it. He he Jedi mind tricked me back into veganism. With his generosity, he reached out to me on my camera channel. It's funny, we both have health and camera channels, and he watches the camera channel and he reached out to me, he's like, he knows I'm on the quest for a perfect camera, and he has all these extra cameras, he's like, I'll give you one if you want one, just pick one. And I'm going through his list, I'm like, oh my god, all the best cameras in the world, I can pick whatever one I want. And I'm trying to pick between a camera and a lens, and I couldn't decide, and I was telling him, like, oh, this one. He's like, no, pick a camera and a lens, you silly goose. He's so generous, and he didn't care I was on the carnivore diet at the time. Here's a vegan giving a carnivore a camera, just spreading goodwill. And that just like opened my mind. I was like, wow, vegans can be good people. <laughs> they can. So everybody go subscribe to The Healthy Life. That's his health channel now. And Marcus Picks for the camera stuff. Just what a great guy. Thank you so much. And Kara used to comment on my videos too. I love them both. They both impress me. They both look super healthy and happy. It's not just all about looks. Although he is a golden surfer boy god, isn't he? Just glorious. He looks so young. He's like almost 60, I think. He could be Doug Graham's nephew, a troubled nephew. Just staying out late at night with his Ferrari. You never know what Marcus is up to. So, way to go, Marcus. You've changed my mind. Vegans can be a little, y'all know. Y'all know what they do. <laughs> not everybody, not every single one. Some are nice, most of them. 41% are nice. Next on the list is Dan the Man, also known as the Life Rejuvenator Guy. Been watching him, he's been inspiring me for years. Then I'm on this carnivore diet, struggling, not knowing what the hell I'm gonna do, and he reached out to me. I don't, I'll be honest with you, I don't read every single comment, I can't keep up with it. Ever since that Steven Asante video, I was getting thousands a day, I was like, I, what? And I just, I couldn't keep up anymore. But for some reason, I read the first couple pages of each video, and then peek in here and there. And I peeked in, I saw a life regenerator, he's just like, reach out bro, I wanna help. Just give me a call, Skype or something. And we did, what a great guy. He just helped me out, he's, he was like non-judgmental in his approach. It's just like, yeah, you're a carnivore? He's interested, he's like, how's that, how? <laughs> how are you feeling good on that diet? He just wanted to know. He tried to get me back on the path. We were gonna make a bunch of plans. I was gonna move into his house in Hawaii. It never happened, but we thought it might happen. 
We tried to make it happen, briefly. But he convinced me to get to the ocean, at least, in a better air quality city of Thailand. And that really helped with my health, I think. I was feeling okay. I had my moments of glory. You're in the show. Uh, you're in the show. But what I really respect about Dan is just his discipline. He's sticking on that path. Raw vegan is like juicing every day. He hasn't wavered. It's like, this is it. This is the truth, guys. I like that. Not me flip-flopping all over the places. Carnivore diet's good. No, don't. No, a lot of meat's bad. Some meat's good. No. And I'll abandon that ship. We never know where this journey's gonna take us. It's a fun ride, but it's hectic. Scary. For all of us. But I just love that he doesn't compromise on his health. He's not gonna go to a restaurant with the family and eat whatever crap just cause it's somebody's birthday. It's like, he stays on point. And I like that, and the fasting and everything. So it's just the discipline, it's inspiring for those to reach up to that level if they wanna be there. So Dan the man, you the man. And he still looks good. He still looks young and healthy and fit. I think he has decent muscle mass. A lot of people say he's skinny. I'm like, what are you talking about? Sometimes he's gotten skinny. That 40 day water fast didn't help the muscle growth like I thought it would, but he's got a decent body. Not eating much protein, it's like he's smashing, shattering the barriers of our mind. That's what he's doing. On a similar note to Dan is John Rose. I still chime in, chime in, listen in on the show. First time caller, long time. Uh, say what you want about his historical beliefs may have got me into trouble back in the past. I'm sorry I couldn't stick with you on that ship, John. I had to jump off that one. But here's a guy in his 60s who literally scours the streets for people to help. He's just looking at people, just starting conversations, hey, telling them, giving them diet tips, and he walks the walk. I just, I love people that are helping others. It makes me cry. I just, I remember seeing a post years ago 17 things that restored my faith in humanity and the one that always makes me cry is this woman just standing over a homeless man in the rain with an umbrella just standing there caring ah oh, that's beautiful human beings sticking together that's why i get so angry at vegans who are just ah, i hate you so much that's all love love in the bed so john rose is out there helping people and i love that and he looks good, he's fit, strong, strong, way stronger than me. He could crush my head in one hand. I know it. I want to go meet him just to see if he could. He could. You know he could. John, stop it. John Rose is a special man. This got dark. This got real dark. Can you even see me? I'm in a graffitied alley. I'm afraid. Wow, look at this show. Hey. <laughs> But that's what I'm impressed with most is that he just goes and helps people all the time. And the second thing is just how strong he looks on such little protein. It makes me think. There are a couple people, a couple fruitarian style dieters who are strong. And it's like, how though? I wonder. I don't eat much protein. I'm strong. Not as strong as I was on the carnivore diet, admittedly. But the medical medium ghost tells us sugar builds muscle. So maybe he's right. Maybe he's right. John Rose probably gets 50 grams protein a day max. That's if he had the sunflower seeds that day. And he didn't most days. We got John Kohler from okraw.com. Just doing juice tests. What's the best juicer for celery juice? You clickbaiting asshole. I swear. <laughs> I'm glad he made the video. I wanted to know. If my juicer ever dies, I'm going for it. The Omega JS943? Was it? Sounds like a good boom. But he's a guy who just, he always stayed out of the drama on YouTube. He just continued to promote a mostly raw vegan, it's 100% raw vegan message. And growing your own food. Imagine that guy's kale in his garden. What that tastes like. Or the spinach. I want to go to his house just to have a leaf of spinach. Can I come, Jot? He healed himself of a bunch of things and then just dedicated his life to spreading the message of juicing and raw foods and you can heal this and he's got like a couple different channels and he looks good, he looks healthy, he looks young, he hasn't aged a day if he was a foot. That's all I know. He looks young. I don't know how old he is. So 
How does he look young if I don't even know how old he is, you ask? That's not a contradiction. It's funny, that reminds me of a comment I got. Somebody said medical medium is 29 years old. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, he doesn't look 29 at all. And then they're like, no, his profile's online, you can find it. So I looked it up, and it's just like some random profile that just says, oh, yeah, 29, born in 1990 or whatever it was. I was like, I've watched hundreds of his podcasts and live streams, and every single one, he says, yeah, I've been helping people for like 35 years. He's at least 35. He got that gift from his grand... Like, he helped his grandma when he was four. He first heard the spirit. So he's at least 39. When was he referring to, I've been helping people for 35? Has he been helping people since he was four? Or did he wait a couple years and then start helping people? So um, add 10 years onto that. He's 49 years old. Just by our mathematical science that we just did. Proven by science and math. So those are the vegans who still impress me, and it's not because they're vegan, they're just, they seem like good people, and I'm proud of them. So, there's probably more, I just can't think, I don't want this video to be 30 minutes long. So, those are them. If you have any others, post them down below, and I'll delete your comment. So, we're done. Going to Valley Village. Thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down. If you wanted me to get hit by that car, I swear to God, if there's one thumbs down, even as a joke, a prank thumbs down, you're getting it. You are getting it. We're done. Subscribe for more videos to all the channels, all of us, and we'll all see you in the next one.